Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today, uh, kind of a two-part series, uh, we're going to talk about the importance of naming your variable numbers, <clears throat> I mean the column numbers in your macro, um, rather than saying um, um, we want to put it in column 1 or 2 and 3 and 4. We might <clears throat> rather put uh, something or rather date equals one, something rather animal equals two, and naughty and nice equals three, or whatever. And that way you can uh, type in the variable name, and if you just change the numbers at the very top, uh, everything will update really nicely for you. So, but uh, the lesson one is we have to, we're going to make a sample table. So let's hop to it. I'm going to take some random data and make a, a random database here, so well, first we need a starting date and an ending date uh, for our rend between. So we're going to say, how about uh, today's date will be the ending date, and how about 1-1-2011 one, one, will be our starting date. That way, let's select, uh, let's say, 50 records here, or 50 rows, and we'll go to 51 equals rand between and I'm going to say between this date, comma, and this date. So we'll get a random number, which remember, Excel considers dates as a serial number, so that's pretty convenient. Hit Control Enter, and what have we got here? Uh, we need to lock these in, don't we? How about click F4, click F4, and Alt, or Control Enter, excuse me. Let's go ahead and format this entire column by hitting Control-1. Let's format it as a date. Click on Date and hit OK. Alrighty. So now we have a bunch of random dates between those two dates. That's pretty nice. Let's do that with an animal. We have a table here of animals and we want to do a random animal here so let's do a random number between 1 and 7 and then have it V look up the appropriate animal in that table huh? that's pretty cool right so equals rand between 1 comma 7 and then we want to do a V look up of that rand between numbers so and we're actually doing an equals of V look up that number right there comma What's the table array? Why, it's this right here. Thank you for asking. And hit F4 because we want to lock in M1 through N7. We don't want it to change as we copy down. Hit comma. What's the column in the next number? Well, we are going to use column 2 to get the animal, not column 1, to get the same number that we're already picking up, the random one. So column 2, comma, 0, an exact match. And hit enter. So... Let's copy that down. Double click there. How about naughty or nice? Equals uh, ran between. Whoops. Ran between is an awesome uh, function here. Between one or two. And then we're going to take that and do a VLOOKUP there. Equals VLOOKUP of that random number between one and two, comma. Here's the table array. The naughty and nice table. Hit F4 to lock it in comma 2 comma 0 and then we'll do the same with the happy and sad in fact we could just copy that e the control C escape and control V and we'll just change this to uh, I 1 and J 2 so okay wow Double click there. So now we have a random. If I hit F9, uh, okay, I can't hit F9 because that's my record button. But uh, as you can see, if I click on one of these and 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 let it calculate, it will recalculate all of these. I want to lock them in, so I'm going to hit con uh, Control Shift Right, Control Shift Down, select the whole thing, Control C to copy. So I'm going to right click on this uh, starting cell, and I'm going to paste the values, the actual values instead of the formulas. 
So now we have an actual database that's not going anywhere that you can actually type over. So that's pretty cool. That's how we have made our sample database. And really, um, you can do that with an infinite amount of information as long as you have a selection here to, to go by. And then you can, you know, make your own pivot tables or practice pivot tables based on that. Um, so let's say you want to click on the date, you wanted to do a uh, show the animals that were purchased on whatever dates, and you wanted to know the count of which ones were, um, I don't know, you could do a, you could do a filter. Let's put the naughty and nice thing in the filter here. And I only want to do the nice ones. I want to see a count of, or excuse me, all the naughty ones. So what's our, our grand total? There's 27 that were naughty. And there were 23 that were nice. And we can see a specific um, date range if we wanted to. You could put date in the filter, I believe. Um, or I guess that takes it out of there. So, but there's a lot of things you could do with that, just having your own database to play around with. And uh, like I said, you can do that with some very simple choices and doing some VLOOKUP tables uh, in addition to the random between, random between this date and this date, or random between one and two, and then VLOOKUP that result. If it's one, it'll VLOOKUP column two, which is, says happy. If it's two, then it'll put sad in there. And same for a larger table. If it's four, it would pick the polar bear, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, pretty cool. In our next lesson, we'll talk about uh, the importance of column label variables. So, thanks for watching.